Hey everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm doing the mini reading, mini forecast for the Libra for April 18th through April the 24th. <laughs> so this is a three card spread, and I'm just going to shuffle. Um, these are going to be really quick readings. Uh-oh, stuff is already kind of messy. I don't know why when I shuffle the cards, they want to fall all over the place for the Libra. Hold on. Okay. All right, let me just shuffle a few times. So we're going to look at um, next week um, what, you're, what you can look forward to in your love life. Um, present, past, and future. And guys, I'm really trying to be consistent about getting these uh, readings up. But life happens. <laughs> so I'm going to cut... I didn't feel like doing my whole setup and moving stuff around. So, guys, that's why I'm doing the voiceover because I've got Netflix and chill on deck tonight, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. So, Libra, um, you got the King of Pentacles. So, this is a literal person. This is a man with money coming into your life next week for those of you that are single um, if you are already involved with someone, um, you know, this, this is show, I mean, this is the king, so this is a literal person, so there's definitely someone, and also in terms of a loving relationship, this is a really good card, and in the past, you got the star card, and this is a major arcana, so this is like a glimmer of hope, um, but I do want to tell you about the star card, okay? Um, in the deviant deck, and I'll give you the other one. Hold on a second. I just like to read the definition because <clears throat> it's, I don't know, it sounds better than what I can explain it, but I know you guys like, I know you guys like when I do explain it, but I just like to look at the deck and, okay, so the star. Um, this is a maiden sits on the shore and pours water into a crystal pool Seven stars shine behind her bringing hope to the lands below. So this is some sort of cleansing Okay um, When I see this card, that's what I see is a cleansing of just maybe the past Okay, because that's why this card is in the past. So that's really a beautiful thing because I know the last couple of readings I've done for the Libra have been and <laughs> There was a couple of Libras. They said, dang, we ain't never got no good luck. And I said, well, I, I'm just reading the cards. But that's not true, though. Um, but this is about hope, a sign of good things, renewed faith in yourself, fulfillment in life's pleasure. So, And in the future, you did get the Ace of Swords. So this is very quick, fast movement. This is changing directions. This is a new start. Um, I'm sensing some travel within this Ace of Swords. I'm sensing a huge change very fast, and there's going to be some sort of distance travel. And someone, if you're single, someone is going to sweep you off of your feet. Also, this is about power and inner strength and having the ability to overcome, you know, adversities. Um, so this is you... Um, I, this is an archangel. I love this um, card in the Deviant Tarot because it's actually an archangel. So I get the sense that there's going to be some angels that are going to come and help you because I'm telling you, I've been looking at, you, at your readings the last couple of weeks. And I think it's just how the stars affect the Libra at that time is my theory on it because... Um, you know, like I said, these are general readings. So, I do see you making a positive change. Um, this is some sort of, uh, you know, victory. Um, and just you have courage to start over. Um, so, if you're single and you're looking for someone, if you're looking for love, that's definitely a good card. And the, so, I'm just saying the opportunity is going to be there. I'm not saying that the relationship with this person that you meet, 
um, this person that has a lot of money, okay? I'm not saying that it's going to work out and you're going to marry him. I can't see that far yet. I haven't looked that far. But so, but these are the emotions um, behind, you know, um, this is the mental focus behind um, starting a relationship. Um, it was something else I wanted to say about this Ace of Swords. In terms of love, the Ace can mean that you're ready to start something new. So if you're currently committed, it can indicate that there's something about this relationship that you're going to choose to put a stop to. Um, don't hesitate to speak your mind. If I mean, if that person is for you, you should be able to talk to them about this. So um, if something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you, then I see this for some of you Libras having a new start. So, like, if, if when one door closes, another one opens, okay? So, it doesn't mean you've lost because this is about the swords. For you to get a swords for the future reading means that you are focused on your mental perception. And so, this is a start, okay? Now, if you would have got the king or the queen, it would have been better. So, it's a start. It's a it's an opportunity for a new start. Um, so the swords indicates some sort of conflict. Um, but again, because it's an ace and because it is a new beginning, it's almost like the death card a little bit. <laughs> um, and you did get the major arcana. So whatever it is, is going to be positive. Whatever happens that is going to make you feel like you lost out on something, you're going to get something even better. Okay. Um, or something that fits you, okay? Because um, I really do love looking at it this way because when you look at the swords suit, and I want to explain this because I think a lot of people should take the time to really study the tarot because you can actually um, learn a lot and you know exactly what we mean. Um, when, when readers tell you certain stuff, so, uh, just to tell you, the swords suit is about mental and intellectual aspects in your perception. So, this is how well you are able to accept reality. And so, I can see next week that this is going to be a start. Okay? Um, make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want a more detailed, more personalized reading, go to my website. I do offer same-day readings, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.